Okay, so let's get started by getting our Unity project up and running. So if you obviously know how to do this, then obviously you can skip this video, but uh, I just want to do this for all those uh, beginners out there who need a little bit of help with uh, getting a Unity project set up. All right, so let's get started. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've gone and launched uh, Unity Hub. So when you install Unity, you have an option to also install Unity Hub. I highly recommend using it. Keeps all your projects nice and organized. Um, also take, has really good links to, you know, just learning materials, uh, community. Uh, you can install Unity from here. So it's a really great place. Just kind of keep everything all contained in one place, like a hub. <laughs> all right, so let's go and create a new uh, project. So I'm going to go over here, hit this new button right here. And I am going to be creating this with 2019.3.0. Actually, I think I have a newer version. Yeah, let's do it with 2019.3.2. I do need to install the latest version, but this will work just fine. All right, so we're going to keep this on 3D. Uh, you're more than welcome to use any of the uh, other uh, rendering pipelines. I'm just going to stick with 3D for now, keep things simple. And we're just going to call this the drone uh, controller. All right, and I'm going to put it in my usual location. It'll most likely be different for you. And so I'm going to go and hit create and let Unity do its thing. All right, so I'll be right back once it is completed making the project. All right, so new project is up and running. All the usual tabs are open. It might be a little bit different for you because, you know, I've been using this uh, quite a bit. And so uh, a lot of the tabs that you see here open might not be open for you, but we're going to, you know, I'll walk you through it anytime I you know, open up a custom tab. Uh, to start with, you'll notice that it creates you know, a scenes folder and a main camera and a directional light. Uh, we're going to make all of our own stuff for that. So you can leave that there for now. Uh, we'll delete it later. Uh, one thing we should do is we sh should go to the project settings. So if you don't see this, you can go to edit and then project settings. It'll launch a little floating window and you can always just go and you know, dock it wherever you want. So you can just hit the, or click and drag the little tab there and just place it wherever you want. Okay. Uh, the one thing we want to do is we want to go to our player settings all right over here and we want to go and set this to linear because we're going to be adding the post pre po pro post processing uh, stack to this or the post processing effects package and so um, in order to use uh, the hdr stuff in there we want to set this to linear and so while we're at it why don't we go to window package manager and actually load or install the post processing package and so what we need to do is we can go to the advanced tab if you don't if you don't see all this stuff you can go and show preview packages and i'll show everything all right and we want to go and find post processing you can also come up here and just uh, type it in so you can just do like post processing and it'll find it for you all right and so with that selected let's go and hit the install button and i'm going to let that install and what i'm going to do is i'm going to close out the lecture there we got our project all set up i'm going to let the post processing package install and then move on to the next lecture where we are going to install our next package. Okay, thanks so much.